Okay, hey y'all. I uh, thought for this video I'd do um, work on this thingy and um, just kind of talk. I watched a video today uh, J-Deb had posted talking about, um, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. And, and I have to say that uh, YouTube has definitely, has definitely opened me up to a whole new world. Um, and just like he had he had mentioned about, you know, you've got friends and family and stuff and, and people that support you, but it's nice to, when you definitely get around some people that, that do the same type of stuff you do or that are interested in the same type of, um, hobby that you have. And I, it is cool. It's definitely, it's definitely opened, opened me up more, um, if, uh, the people that know me know me know that I I'm really not a outgoing person anymore. Maybe back twenty something years ago, but uh, now I keep to myself. I uh, keep my circle small, and that's just you know I think that's pretty much basically every a lot of people in life. But it's nice when you get to. Uh, when you get to meet people that are into the same thing that you are. And if it wasn't for YouTube, I definitely, um, I don't know. I don't know if I would still, oh, I'd probably still be doing this, but this definitely encourages me, um, to do more and to try more things. And, um, I probably screwed this up, but, uh, yeah, I don't know where it's going on that. Basically, I want to say thank you to everyone that hangs out with me on my channel and that comments and, and watches and stuff. I just want to say thank you. I um, have hit the 500 mark. I didn't want to really say anything about it because my subscribe subscribing thing fluctuates. Like, I could have, you know... 500 today and then like lose five or so of them tomorrow. So I didn't really want to Didn't want to say much about it, but I do want to say I really appreciate those that um, Hang out with me on the channel. I, I It's definitely brought me out of my shell. I'm still working on it. I'm still getting a little more confidence built up But it's it's really cool It's really cool of y'all and I appreciate it and um yeah, it's nice. I, you know, in our group, our carving group, and we we always use the the term our tribe, you know, because it's just a bunch of us doing the same thing and um, same type of thing and enjoying um, swapping ideas and and stuff like that. So yeah, it's cool, and I don't really want to get all mushy about it. I just want to say thank you and. Um, I'm really struggling with this because I'm trying to talk at the same time and it's not my vision's not coming to light um, so maybe it is a little bit but yeah no I uh, I appreciate y'all and um, you know I went through some stuff about a month ago and um, you guys are really cool about um, still hanging in there <laughs> so Thank you. The idea is to uh, stick this on there and so the light will come out, but I don't know how well that's going to glue because it's bowed. So I'm thinking I may have to take this apart and do it the other way. But yeah, I'm not one to, to talk about that kind of stuff. So I just want to say thank you everybody and um, I will shoot I got on Amazon to look up some of that basswood the the live edge like the fish thing I did holy moly I think it was I can't remember how many pieces crap I can't remember how many was but I mean it was bulk so that's a good price. but it was like $53 for him and um, you know this I started out with this hobby being something that I would think that would not be so expensive, but it is 
definitely becoming expensive. Like if I sell stuff, definitely is going to help. But if I don't sell stuff, then my hobby is becoming uh, very expensive. But I do want to make some more of those. That was really fun, fun to do. Um, and I do want to do some how-to videos on them because I think, like, if you have a Dremel and, like, I called it a skill saw. Jamie said it's not called a skill saw. It's a, it's a saw thingy that has a little whatever. And you, I'll just have to show a video of it because, um, I don't know what the name of it. I went, I said skill saw because the sign on the side of, of it says skill. So I just assumed that was the name of it. I don't know. But anyway, if you have one of those and you know how to work it, um, or know someone that does, then doing that kind of cutout is perfect. And I think it draws that, that empty space or whatever. It just, it looks flipping cool. And that, um, I really honestly feel like that color wash tint definitely made the piece because if I'd have done that with acrylic, I don't think it would have turned out looking as groovy as it did. It may have, but I don't know. I'm saying the color wash really did it, did its thing that it needed to do to it, which I need to get some more of that because I've been using a lot of that lately. But yeah, buddy, this is what I'm doing. And I'm going to regret doing it this way. Because if the battery runs out and the lights go out, then they're not going to be able to replace it because I've got so much glue up in here. It'll still be a pretty piece, though, if the glue, you know, if the lights go out, it'll still be a pretty piece. So. But I got. Oh, crap. Excuse my language. Oh, yeah. I still gotta, I gotta make sure that that's gonna stick in there. I don't want it falling out. I don't need that kind of reputation that stuff falls apart. So you gotta make sure it glues in there good. Um, as some of y'all know, glue guns and I do not get along. Several years ago, I had used, um, I don't know. If you're watching, let me know what it was called. But it, I think it was a DeWalt. Uh, glue gun. It was like a major mega one. It was not one for crafting, but I burnt the crap out of my fingers. It was bad. It was really bad. And I, even with these ones that are supposed to, you know, they don't get that hot kind of crap. They, I've been saying crap a lot and I apologize. Anyway, um, I get glue everywhere. I get glue on my hands. I get glue on my clothes, I get glue on stuff all over the bench. I'm just not delicate with the glue gun at all. That's why I did not post the recording of me gluing the lights on because I said a lot of um, words that were inappropriate because I kept burning my fingers. So yeah, I guess this video is more of uh, just me yapping and talking about stuff. And how much I really do appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, I, I just, it's really cool. It's a cool feeling. Enough of that. Oh, see, I don't think that's going to stay. This might have to be a definitely redo. Because, uh. I don't want that coming out. I'm over these already. I'm totally over making these for right now. I've got one more that I need to do, but I don't think I'm going to. I want to do more carving. I really need to get better at the, um, the wood spirit faces. So I'm just, uh, I think after I do this, I'll grab a piece of wood. The the one, it's a, what did he call it? American Elm? It's really hard wood. For me, it's hard. It may not be hard, but it is hard for me. And um, that's what I have left because the pine that I have is still wet. There's a lot of moisture in it. So I figured it would have been dried out by now, but it's not. And I think, I want to say I've had it for a year now. 
But when we cut it up, you could feel the moisture. I'm like, no. So, yeah. But I do want to practice on the wood spirit faces. I really, I definitely need to get, um, to get better at it. And, you know, like Jordy says, the more you do, the better you get. So, that's, that's the goal I'm going for. I just need this to hurry up and dry. Hmm. Okay, well I guess I'm just stuck here for a little bit. And when I got the, uh, the order from Hobby Lobby, I guess I ordered really big ones, succulents. Like these, like, hang on. There's one in here that's huge. That is a big boy huge so I need to make some bigger stuff I guess to put those on I really like that one I think that's wicked cool color yep 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 We're going to see if this works. So, there you go. It's going to be like a wall hanger whenever it dries. And more than likely, I'm going to have to redo it because I'm not digging it right now. I mean, it looks, I like it, but then again, I can see all the, I can see the, the light and the glue. I don't like that at all. So, I might have to shove some moss down in it to cover that up but not covered up enough you can't see the light. But yeah, what do y'all think? And thank you for listening to me because uh, I just needed to say, I needed to say thank you. And um, yeah, like I'm a, I'm an awkward, I'm not awkward. Well, maybe I'm awkward. I'm weird, different. I don't know. I keep to myself. And, um, and with YouTube, it just feels like I can, I can be me and um which i'm learning to talk more as you can tell i'm so proud of me right now <laughs> but uh yeah okay bye